thunder. Well, I can't sleep thinking about what's going to come up that mountain any minute. Well, you're not that old. Don't tell me everything's going to be all right, because I know it's not. I didn't say that, did I? No, I guess I didn't. Well, what's going on? Well, I mean, I'd be pretty unrealistic. Sit 
Thank you. Sam told me you called when we stopped by. I, uh, I was surprised. You never know what to expect from me, do you, Pop? Well, that's going to change. It is. Now and you'll always know what to expect. I'm about to become an upstanding, responsible, level-headed, and thoroughly grounded in reality at all times citizen. What's the matter? Don't you want me following in your footsteps? I'm waiting for the bomb to drop. No bombs. I'm deadly serious. Before you tell me people can't change overnight, I'm telling you they can. Yesterday, in one moment, I grew up. Sam told me that Jenny came to see you last night. Did she change her mind about the annulment? That wound look off your face, Dad. She did not. She still insists on going through with it, but I'm still hanging on to my intentions, too. Uh, do, do you want to start at the beginning about all this? I'm ta talking about finally ending this part of my life. When I got out of prison, I was filled with bitterness and self-hate, I'm sure you noticed. Yes. Yes, I, I noticed. My life was in so many pieces, I never thought I could pick them up and put them all together again. Especially without Jenny. And now, that's all changed because of seeing Jenny. It was very strange. Even though she said she, she didn't want me back, it didn't matter. I knew I wasn't just saying I changed. It was real. I never want to hurt anyone again. I want to be able to look people in the eye and not feel guilty. And I, I want you to be proud of me. And I want Jenny to be proud she married me. It was a very good show, Pat. I think that's just what you need. Oh, I hope so. Right before the DA left, you got a call from headquarters saying that the uh, phone was ringing off the hook. I could kick myself for not making that and tell me where they were going. Oh, I, uh, I told the office where I was. Excuse me. This is Riley. Hey, hi, Mr. Riley. It's me, Richard. Abbott, we're... Abbott, are you all right? Yeah, we're fine. Of course, our vacation is ruined. Listen, Abbott, the next time you leave town, you're going to leave the phone number and address and instructions on how to get there. Have you talked to the police? Yeah. We just found out about Luke last night. The phone was dead. We just got through to the local police. They told us to stay put. They'll send a guard over. Have you heard anything about Luke's whereabouts? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm afraid not, Abbott. Listen, whatever you do, for a change, don't do anything rash or stupid. I'd like to decide to come back to town or something, okay? You stay right there, inside of those guards at all times. And that's an order. All right, Mr. Riley. Yes, sir, Mr. Riley. <laughs> Listen, I mean it, kids. Uh, I will, I promise, Mr. Ryan. We'll see you. Bye-bye. So the, the kid came out of the grocery and, and then he ran into a friend or uh, something on a bike and then standing across the street now and they're talking. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's, he's putting the groceries into the basket on the bike. Oh, he looks like he's going to ride off on it, Ed. What should I do? Start jogging, Vinny. You're doing a much better move today, Brad, aren't you? Because I'm a new man, Mrs. Hopkins. That's good, because I wasn't too fond of the old one. I mean, that chap that I rented this room to a few days ago. You don't mince words, do you? No, not often. So, how's the job market? Well, looks pretty open, a lot of ads in here. That's good. Is there anything interesting? I bet he had something that you're qualified for. I am qualified for everything and nothing. I mean, when you haven't had any formal training, it leaves a lot of room. If I were depressed, I'd look at all these ads in here, and I wouldn't think I could do one of them, but since I'm very up, I think I can handle them all. Oh, that's great. Now, listen, I love that, that optimistic, nothing is important approach. Yeah, yeah. So, is there something that you do well? But weren't you a tennis pro? No more. It's part of my dearly departed youth. I don't want to get into anything that has to do with tennis, bartending, or health clubs. I want to really work. You know what I mean? Work so hard that uh, I 
come home at night, just collapse into bed, too tired to do anything else. Well, that's one way to keep out of trouble. And that, uh, Mrs. Hopkins, is the idea. Well, oh, see, there's something I've been meaning to give you. I guess Lynn left us here. Oh, that's her present from her sister. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Would Dory Lord ever be angry if she knew Lynn had just left it behind? Just left it behind? You mean she didn't just forget it? Why should I call the police? What? Because my wife has just disappeared from your hotel, that's why. Dr. Jansen, with all due respect, don't you think maybe you're making too much out of this? I mean, I know you're a newlywed, but she just went out. No, you see, it just may not be that simple. Well, you're going to have to explain it to me, otherwise it doesn't make any sense. I mean, she left her bags here, so obviously she needs to come back. Look, but we have a plane to catch in a half an hour, and she knows that, and she's still not here. Hello, darling. I... Lynn, where have you been? Uh, Ed, uh, the kid rode his bike a few blocks to the outskirts of the town, and then he took the groceries into his, into his house, but the, the shades are drawn. I mean, look... Do you want me to uh, uh, check it out or something to see who lives there? It's a good idea. Oh, okay. But listen, Ed, first I gotta collapse here. I mean, just for a moment, or... Well, you're gonna have to send an ambulance for me. Okay, but keep your eyes open, all right? You may be out of something. <laughs>
That is fine. I'm going up there. You give me the keys to your car and the directions. All right. All right, I'll go. Good. Good. his feelings for Ed's wife. When your door was open, I couldn't help but see. Call on me, Grace. That's right. And me kissing her. Oh, yeah. And on Jennifer Hustle. Then were you inside David Hamilton's mistress? And were you without your husband's knowledge carrying on a sexual relationship with him? Will Leslie tell the truth? One Life to Live, Jennifer Hospital, every weekday on ABC.